So what is good with everybody? It's crunch time. And we're going to talk about the situation with the WNBA, man. Because as I told y'all from the jump, I told y'all over a year ago that Angel Reese is going to change women's basketball forever. And this was before she won a national title. So it's getting heated in the WNBA right now. <clears throat> because now Angel Reese has come out and said what I've been saying from the jump, man. She said, we got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas. The reason why we're watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me, too. I want y'all to realize that. And I've been trying to say this because Angel Reese, uh, she, I told I told y'all she's going to generate more, more money and revenue for the league than uh, anybody else. And she's going to change the fit, like, like the whole style of women's basketball because, for one... Uh, a lot of people are going to want to come to the games to see her. A lot of businesses and companies are going to want to endorse her. Um, She's going to probably be in like movies and stuff like that. That's what I meant by she's going to, she's going to change the league from a business standpoint. And so you have to understand that that means something a lot. I mean, for the longest time, I mean, let's be honest. You heard people saying stuff like, you know, about the WNBA, how they, you know, wasn't watching it, and now you have certain men watching it just because they are attracted to Andrew Reese. And not only that, with her being actually a good player, it's gonna it's gonna last a long time. You said companies are gonna want to endorse Angel over over Caitlyn. I mean, yeah, bro, because at the end of the day, she's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman, dog. That's what y'all gotta understand is that that stuff matters. You know, it just matters, yo. It does. I think that Caitlin Clark fans are doing a disservice to the WNBA right now. Because they wanna they want us to take out they want us to take out you say Angel not beautiful. Oh oh I didn't know that she was uh I didn't know that she went that way, bro. It is Pride Month though. So you must be a part of the Pride Month. You say Angel Reese not beautiful. You say Reese wanna take her shine. How Reese wanna take her shine when Reese beat her in the championship though so all the stuff that Caitlin Clark didn't do Angel Reese has done it you know you said Caitlin Clark fans are the WNBA fans no they're actually the only casuals in the in the league the Caitlin Clark fans are the first casuals fans of the WNBA the first ones because it just goes to show y'all that y'all came out of nowhere you said, why aren't Andrew Reese jersey selling? Who said that? Who said he's not selling? Somebody tell me that, right? Who said that they, her jerseys wasn't selling? I'm going to go right now. You said, who cares? Caitlin Clark is better and more popular. Look it up right now, bro. Andrew Reese is actually way more popular than Caitlin Clark. She's actually way more popular than Caitlin Clark. But, yo, so the whole point about it is, is this, though. People don't like that, though. When you try to... um. Just push one person and, and, and tune out everybody else It doesn't even make sense You know It doesn't make sense because you If y'all look at the um, If y'all look at Andrew Reese games Bro them games are sold out You got arenas literally selling out You know You said nobody cares about Reese yeah, like I said, bro, it's a villain that y'all created in Angel Reese, all because she beat Caitlin Clark in the championship. You know what I'm saying to you, dog? You said Clark is on ESPN every night. ESPN is not th the people. Y'all not listening. ESPN is not the people. You can put a, uh, what you call it? You can put a uh, machine behind any person if you ESPN. You said, oh, maybe she throws stones and hides her hand. Who? You talking about Caitlin Clark? I agree, bro, because Caitlin Clark, a, a lot of the stuff she does, she'll do it. Try to do it on a sneak tip. And then uh, she'll act innocent when the other ones, you know, when somebody else does something. You said, no, I'm talking about Reese. Well, how she hide her hand? Didn't Caitlin Clark hide her hand? 
Cause didn't she put didn't she push that girl first? He said, ah, he's from Chicago. I'm not from Chicago. Look at you. All up in the Kool-Aid, don't even know the flavor. All up in the mustard, can't even catch up. Talking about some, ah, he's from Chicago. So it's sad, bro. That y'all really will sit here and lie just about... Just for Caitlin Clark. You said everybody else games get happy attendance as Clark games. Bro, that's because ESPN is promoting her. That's what I had to understand. Yeah, Reese definitely, uh, Reese definitely made Caitlin Clark famous. You said I've seen so many players get bumped like Clark before, but everyone is jealous because it's her. You said get bumped like Clark. Everybody is jealous because it's her. Jealous of what? See, y'all don't understand. That's how I know that y'all just casuals, bro. A lot of NBA players, I mean, excuse me. A lot of WNBA players have been in fights before. Like Candace Parker used to get beat up when she came in. Angel Reese, how is Angel Reese jealous? Look at her social media right now. Hey, Isaac, look at Angel Reese's social media right now. Go on Instagram. Tell me why she would be jealous. Right? I just want to know that. Tell me why she would be jealous for her. The league, why would the league be jealous? Jealous of what? Why would they be jealous? How y'all know all this stuff already, right? When y'all just said y'all haven't been watching the league. Y'all said y'all was never watching the WNBA before this. Now, all of a sudden, y'all know everybody in the league. Or they just, they just jealous. You know, like y'all just know, like y'all just know the league for real. You said, why are you a hater? What did I say bad about Caitlin Clark? Did I say that she was a ba like a bad basketball player? So how am I a hater because of what I said about Angel Reese? What that mean? How that work? Did I say Caitlin Clark can't play? Cheryl Miller was the best. I heard that a lot. Kaitlyn Clark does need to work on her game a little bit, though. She needs to work on her mid-range game and post-game, like I said. She needs to work on her mid-range game and post-game. You said, bro, she would cook you? Yeah, all right. On a dead looks. Yeah, all right. Somebody said pure. Oh, so now we got people playing the race card. Is what we doing. Caitlin Clark handles not tight enough. I'm I'm strapping that every time. You said Tarasi told everybody she's um it's gonna be different in the league. You said what she need to post for, she's six feet one seventy five. Well Derry, that's how you know like you don't know about the game of basketball. You know that, right? Based on what you just said. You post you learn to post up because it's it's a part of the game. <laughs> that's why you do it. That's the problem with basketball nowadays. A lot of these kids think they don't got to do certain stuff. Your coach tell you to work on something. He's like, oh, well, I got to work on that. You would have been cut. You get cut for saying that. You said she really not, she's not really the all-time leading score. Yeah, I heard. You said Angel Reese, I mean, you said CC is more fun to watch, but Angel has been someone else to bring in viewers. I love that comment. See, there's nothing wrong with that, T. If you like Caitlin Clark more, that's cool. That's what we're supposed to have. We're supposed to have diversity over the fan bases. As far as you like this person, I like that person. Or whatever, right? Or you like both. It looks like this person likes both. And they're saying Angel... Well, they like Caitlin Clark, but they, they understand Reese does bring in viewers. You can't deny that fact. You can't, no, you said if CC never happened, no one is tuning in. No, the CC fans won't be tuning in. But y'all have to understand what we're saying here is that Angel Reese is bringing in those viewers as well. Her game was sold out with no Caitlin Clark on the court. Celebrities, like, you know what I'm saying? G Herbo, all these rappers, female rappers. These people were watching them because of Angel Reese as well. Like, I think that it's just a situation where women's basketball is growing in general. Women's basketball, I appreciate that, Sam Nascari. 
women's basketball is, is growing in general. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Then when Juju Watkins goes to the league, remember it's gonna be another wave of oh my gosh, who is this? You gonna have it's it gonna be so many people saying that. But you got Juju Watkins fans already. See, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, Paige Beckers. So this just off that, only one person doing something. Like, honestly, if it was only one player that was that good, nobody would be watching this league. Y'all know Maya Moore was in Uncle Drew, bro. If, if, if ESPN wanted to take somebody like Maya Moore and just say, oh, she the savior, they could have did it for anybody. That's why. That's the reason why people is a little bit mad about it because of the of, of the extreme levels to where y'all are taking it. Like, yeah, somebody can be nice, but don't say, "Oh, she's saving women's basketball." She the first one that's she the first one that's nice, bro. You just had somebody last year playing against Steph Curry in a three point shootout. So when people do that, they look at it like, "Oh, well, I don't think she the best that we ever seen," and then now people are saying, "Oh, you hating because of." the fake narratives that they came up with. The media is doing... If you don't agree with what the media is saying... See, because if you don't agree, now the money look funny. Because they spending all these millions of dollars trying to say this stuff. So if everybody don't agree, they're going to call you a hater. They need you to get on the ship. But it's so many women's basketball players that are just amazing at this game to where when you say, oh, well, Caitlin, you know, head and shoulders over everybody. It's like, whoa. Then people would be like, um, oh, well, you, you know, nobody was ever watching women's basketball. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, all right. Y'all got to remember, dog, we've been seeing this coming. When I was in middle school and you know what I'm saying? You had the boys team, the girls team. You know what I'm saying? Girls talking about Candace Parker every day. So you tune in. Like, this has been going on. It was like, because I just, because look. My generation, Angel Reese, my generation, right? I remember I used to see girls coming to the court all the time. So then you'll see girls hooping with the guys like, yo, 10 years from now, yo, women's basketball going to be crazy. Like, people used to say this stuff. So it ain't just one girl. This man said nobody was talking about Candace Parker, man. Listen, dog, you wild, bro. You, just listen. All you got to do is say that you wasn't really on the team. You wasn't, you're not really a hooper for real. Everybody in the comments, if you if, look, if you don't think if, if you don't think nobody was talking about Candace Parker, right? All you guys say is like you don't know what you're talking about, and then you know we won't jump on you, we won't really roast you and stuff like that. This man just said nobody was talking about it. Didn't she won? Didn't Candace Parker win the MVP her rookie season or something? Didn't she win the MVP her rookie season or something crazy like? But just go to show you. How to, but that's why I said, Caitlin Clark fans, bro, uh, ladies, if y'all are really getting frustrated with this stuff, y'all have to understand, right? Caitlin Clark fans are just the first casuals of uh, the first casuals fans of the WNBA. So y'all are really getting to really get into the mix. Like when y'all be seeing all these people debating about the NBA. Y'all getting into that era now with the women's basketball. It's going to be fans that just don't know what they talking about. And you're going to be thinking like, yo, what? Like a lot of girls be like, Abdul, because that's my real name. They be like, Abdul, why are you always on live talking about basketball? I'm like, shorty, this is all guys do. Now girls about to start doing it. You know what I'm saying to you, dog? That's how you know it's not about basketball facts. You said that was so cringe. I actually didn't see the interview. Another thing, another thing that y'all gotta realize: don't don't overthink about all the stuff these girls was gonna start saying. Like when they sp start, uh, you know, spazzing out and getting emotional and stuff. Women are gonna do that. Women are gonna react to things like you know what I'm saying. We should expect women to say more stuff like this over the men. So it's really, I don't look at none of this stuff as a big deal. This is what we're supposed to be seeing. Like, you see this stuff all the time. You say, Angel and everyone else is so disrespectful to Caitlyn. How? How 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 is she disrespectful? Ain't nobody really giving me no evidence. You said, regardless of Angel Reese is right, she said it so wrong, made her look very self-centered. 
Wow. Wow. You said Caitlin Clark is the only one drawing attendance. So why was Andrew Reed's game sold out? Why was Andrew Reed's game sold out when um when when Caitlin Clark wasn't there? So Orin, answer that for me, right? Since you said this, if you don't answer, you might get blocked. Why was why was Andrew Reed's game sold out when um when when Caitlin Clark wasn't there? I'm waiting for y'all to answer that for me. All right? So Caitlin Clark wasn't in the billing. All right? Now it's hey look. Hey look, now it's grown man, by the way. See how they do it? Hold on. See how they do you? So you get so you talking about the same you in the comments talking about the same stuff we talking about. Now now when I make a point, you're gonna bring up the fact I'm a grown man. Just cause you don't know what you're talking about. All right? Just because you don't know what you're talking about, right? My points be wrong. Anybody answer my question? Right? Anybody answer my question? Right? This man said grown man, by the way. And these is grown women. These are grown women. What's your point? Right? All right. So, like, I do feel as though that Andrew Reese is going to um, raise a lot of money for the league. She's going to get a whole bunch of endorsements, you know, gear. She's going to have like stuff like that fashion over. She's going to have all of that, bro. She's going to have she's going they're going to want people to be in movies. You said nobody cares about Angel Reese. Well, I mean, you just lying though. Like everybody's saying that lying though. Let's look up their social medias right now. Let's look up their social media right now. Right? You said Clark Curry. No, Caitlin Clark don't play like stuff. Y'all lied about that too. You said Angel Reese get like four points. You didn't say nothing when Caitlin Clark had three points. I want to see what some of these ladies is talking about. When Reese beat Clark and won the chip, when Clark became... Hey, thank you! When Reese beat Clark and won the chip, that's when Clark became noticeable. Because, because Reese uh, beat her... Yeah, bro, everybody was getting mad at Angel Reese. Because Angel Reese beat Caitlin Clark and did her celebration. That's when everybody got so mad at Angel Reese. Before that, people wasn't that mad at Angel Reese. They was happy that Angel Reese was doing. What, excuse me. They was happy that Angel Reese was doing what she was doing. Remember, before she won that chip, before she played Clark in the championship, right? Angel Reese was kind of like she was being physical. She was being hype. Everybody liked that. Then she beat Caitlin Clark. Now everybody started to hate her. But nobody said that when Kaylin Clark was doing it, though. Nobody got mad when Kaylin Clark was doing this. So it's sad to me that people will change people will take their emotions and then use that for their opinion on what they you know looking at and just you know and just go against the facts. Nobody knew anything about Angel Reese. That's a lie. Everybody knew about Angel Reese. She she was at Maryland. And she transferred to LSU. Shaq, Shaq tapping in with her. Y'all, hey, look, y'all be sitting here lying, dog. Y'all be hating on the wrong stuff, dog. You said CC didn't do it to another player. Then who she do it to then? Right. See, that's the that's the point. Like y'all will say it's not. Y'all will say it's not entertaining. Then they start being entertaining. Now you don't like it. You know what I'm saying to you, dog? You said Angel Reese missing layups. I, hey, look, I got it on videotape on my live when Caitlin Clark missed a wild open layup. Ain't nobody say nothing. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know Caitlin Clark missed a wild open layup, right? But you see how that's nitpicking? Like, I'm only talking about that one layup. Then, when it comes to Angel Reese, though, y'all will pull up certain plays. 
Like, oh, she missed this one layup. You said they play two different two different positions. So why so why compare? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they gonna do it though. You said it's not Clark versus Reese. It, hey, that's what it was in the national championship. How many championships Caitlin Clark got? You said nobody's going for Reese. They're going for Clark and she's jealous. So you ain't answering my question. Why Andrew Reese game gets sold out when Caitlin Clark wasn't there? Why can't nobody just answer that question for me? Please. You know? You said we flexing college rings is insane. Okay, that's cool. So why are we flexing college points? Why are we flexing college record? Got him. He ain't going to answer that, y'all. So why we we can't flex the college rings? Why are we flexing the college record? Huh? He ain't gonna answer it though. He's not gonna answer it though. That's the sad part. You said records are broke. Well, records just like Caitlin Clark broke that record. Somebody can somebody's gonna break Caitlin Clark's record. So. I would say a championship is more important than a record because you can't take a championship away from somebody. Somebody can break your record, though, and basically take it away. But when it comes to a championship, you can't take that away. Angel is jealous of Caitlyn. What is she jealous of, though? Angel Reese ran it up on her own. She don't need no ESPN machine behind her. So why would she be jealous? What what is he jealous about? He said Angel broke. Angel was a millionaire before she stepped foot in the league. These people don't know what they talk about in the comments. You know? She was a millionaire before she came to the league. Y'all lying. You know, this man said attendance again. Her game was sold out without Caitlin Clark. Nobody answering that question. But I do like the fact that you know it's some type of situation going on in the league, like where you got some type of rivalry that they. I I do think they forcing a rivalry though. You said we're distracted, cost of living at an all time high. I ain't distracted. You distracted. That's you. I hate when people try to do that. Oh, we distracted, man. We got to stop being distracted, dog. No, that's you. You can get your life together, dog. You said, why they hate Angel Reese like this? I don't know, man. Because she look good. You said, this guy won't answer any questions. You ain't answer a question. That's a statement. Prime example of wasn't all the attention. Bro, y'all, no, no, time out. Time out, dog. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out real quick, y'all. What are y'all talking about? What are you talking about? A hey, Lamar, you said all their games been sold out. Yo, thank you. Yo, please tell these people, dog. I'm trying to tell these people. I'm thinking about going to the Andrew Reese game on Saturday. I'm not Saturday, Thursday. I'm really thinking about going. I ain't got a lot of tickets. It's cheap. <laughs> I'm ready to start going to the WNBA games, dog. Them joints cheap. Boston, Boston finals tickets seven hundred dollars for some nosebleed just to see them sell. Boston about to pay thousands of dollars just to watch them sell. Yeah, they two and nine. Will not answer questions. That's a statement. That's not a question. Better to donate that money to people in need. <laughs> You say you think about it, okay, buy a ticket, but I got another move that day though. So I'm really thinking about making a move. See, uh, I don't want to do too much. Uh, my bad, Joe. I had to stretch. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Nobody would have known who Angel Reese is without Caitlin making her career. I mean, at the end of the day, dog, Angel Reese beat Caitlin Clark in the championship game. And so, what do you, what do you, like, so, like, what you mean by that? How, how, how is that? Wait, wait. Hey, Lashana, that's definitely a fact. Kobe, definitely the GOAT. 
I may follow Ashana. Cause she know this game. She know this game, man. You know what I'm saying? To LSU one and takes a team. But he said that K he said that Caitlin Clark made Andrew Reese career though. I thought you I thought it takes a team. I thought it takes a team. When if it takes a team, how did Caitlin Clark do it by herself and make her career? If it takes a team, why everybody always saying Caitlin Clark got no help? It's only her out there. These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Right? That's all people were saying. So when Andrew Reese says this stuff, right? It's not because she's jealous. It's because y'all not keeping the same energy. People don't like that, bro. Especially girls. They don't like when you just go and be, you're not keeping it 100. They don't like when you get mad at her, her for doing something, but then somebody else doing the same thing. Or if y'all not being fair with the scenario, dog. People don't like that. So when you say it's a team game when it comes to Andrew Reese, but y'all wasn't saying that about Caitlin Clark, though. That's a thing. Right? So that's not right. That's inhumane. All right, let's try to see. I'm going to go live again later. That's not that's not right, man. That's inhumane. That's not right, dog. So, you know, so Angel Reese, I'm really I'm really thinking about matter of fact, I'll probably catch her another one. But I really will I really will uh I'm really thinking about going to one of these games. I gotta get an interview with Angel Reese, dog. She said she's so arrogant and using the attention in the wrong way. But y'all and now listen, y'all do have to remember that um with all due respect to the ladies, this is women. So when so when y'all say that she wants the attention and what she said was, you know, it, remember it's gonna be different from how we judge it on, on on men simply simply because I feel as though women are always gonna have more to say at these at these interviews. Like they're gonna have we're gonna hear a lot of more like <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? feelings about it coming from them but then i don't think it's personal you said nobody would have watched a natty if caitlin clark didn't exist yeah all right yo do you know what i did that day when it was a natty i was going out to the to the bar to watch the game to watch andrew reese that's what everybody pretty much was doing that day in that in that in that place oh yeah andrew reese played at 3 30 ready to go to the uh like that's what people were saying that day. Yeah, we're going on it right now. Andrew Reese about to come on TV right now. So that's why we went out. That's why everybody went out that day. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna try to rewrite history. Now, Caitlin Clark, you have Caitlin Clark fans. But me personally, when it comes to that, she's good, but she was not... Andrew Reese not even my favorite women's player, right? When it comes to Caitlin Clark being good, I never thought that she was the best. So I wasn't, I was never looking at her like, yo, this is crazy. Like, yo, like, I gotta go watch it. Because remember, it's been a lot of girls that play like her. So I never was watching uh, Ionesco turning on her game because just because she can shoot, I simply just never did it. When it comes to Angel Reese, I liked her because of her energy. She was turning me up. She actually is getting boards, getting getting big man layups. You know what I'm saying? Actually playing good basketball, physical, talking trash. And she looked good doing it. Confidence. Exuberance. So this is all the stuff she was doing. That's why I'm like, yo, by the time she playing in a championship game, I'm going out to watch it. Then she beats Caitlin Clark in the championship game. Now everybody, right? Now everybody hate Angel Reese just because she won the championship. Right? When more success comes more hatred. Right? So this man said, I think you're just prejudiced. How I think, how you, th how you think I'm prejudiced, right? 
you sound like somebody that just played a race car, victim blame, victim mentality. I don't even entertain conversations like that. All right? Now it's about race. I'm prejudiced because when you're a fan of somebody, I don't know how they play the game. What do we come to, bro? You really want to go back to that? Do you really want to do that, bro? You said half the people would hate on Caitlin Clark do it because she... No, 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 no. no. It's because y'all is trying to force feed. Y'all are trying to tell us what we should feel. Like, y'all are trying to tell... Y'all are trying to tell me... You're trying to tell me that I think she's the best player that I've ever seen. When I think other players are better. Like, and now it can't be race because I, cause even when with with white players, I can't believe y'all made me say that word because I don't ever make this stuff about race. But when it comes to that, Paige is better than Caitlin Clark, 100%. So I'm taking Paige. That's probably my favorite women's player. I'm low-key more of a fan of Paige over Juju Watkins. So it's not even about that. I like Paige. I been remember Paige before she got injured. She was all over social media. Remember she was at the Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry said something about her. I thought Paige was gonna be the girl. I mean that Caitlin Clark. I thought she was gonna be the one to kind of turn everything up. I guess she got injured, and you know, same thing happened with D Rose. Once once you get injured, like they stop trying to put the money behind you. So then they put the money behind Caitlin Clark. Nah, bro, caught up on the white friend, on the one white friend. Well, that's the point, though. Like, it can't be... I'm saying, like... <laughs> listen, bro. So, y'all just gonna... So, hold on. Time out. So, y'all gonna use that race thing now? That's weird, bro. Like, how many... Y'all Y'all already gonna say it's not that many players. Y'all already said it was... It's not that many players. I'm trying to name some players, and y'all gonna use that against me. Because I only said one player. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Look at the stats. I'm looking at the page of field for the game. Page. E- e- oh, who's the person keep trying to do it? What's it called? You say you're a cap. Nah, but I'm a rap artist. You said, bro, Mash, you got a show deal. Sabrina and Page are better. Sabrina just played Stephen Curry in a three point shootout. Page got a better feel for the game. I think Page got more handles. I think she's a better like skill scorer. Caitlyn does a lot of um, she has a lot of go to stuff. Like Caitlyn will continue to shoot the same shots, um, and just her game is a little bit more predictable than Paige. I just think you know what I'm saying. I think she's better, and really they got robbed in that championship. I'm mean, not the championship. Really they got robbed in that game, in that final four game. You said facts is. We all identify with who we look like first. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's really not even that, though. That's the thing. It's really not even that. Like, if somebody got game, I'll, I'll rock with him. She wants Caitlin Clark spotlight. She got the same spotlight. Like, people, like, on a, like really, Caitlin Clark, bro, nobody talks about Caitlin Clark, bro. As much as people, as much as ESPN make a scene. You say it's because of me too. You want to be so when y'all was watching. So when y'all watch, so ever since y'all watched Caitlin Clark in the championship game, though, right? Ever since then, haven't y'all been seeing Angel Reese along the way? So don't make it seem like y'all don't know who Angel Reese is. So how she lying? Y'all watching it because of Angel Reese too. Facts. Y'all talk about her almost as much as y'all talk about Caitlin Clark, whether you like her or not, whether you know. You, you think she's good or not? Y'all are the biggest cappers on the internet right now. Sitting here making it seem like y'all don't know who Angel Reese is. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? So we don't care about it. Yes, y'all do care about it. If y'all don't care about it, why y'all keep talking about it? If y'all don't care about it, why y'all got mad when she did the Caitlin Clark celebration? Y'all don't care, right? So why y'all talking? I thought y'all ain't care.
So y'all said that she got bad attitude. I thought y'all ain't care about her attitude. Right? Why y'all so mad if y'all don't care? That's my questions to y'all as a grown man. That's my honest question to y'all. I'm asking you. You know? You said, I'm not mad, LMAO. Why you say LMAO? What's so funny? Are you laughing because you mad? You said, you mad, mad. I'm not mad at all. I just said, like, yo, Caitlin Clark, y'all trying to force feed somebody this oatmeal when I'm not hungry. Like, y'all trying to make me say something about Caitlin Clark that I just don't think. Like, she's just not the best player I've ever seen. And it's been women's really putting in work. It's been so many women that can step on the court with any man. And y'all just didn't say nothing about her. And look, we also going to talk about Monica, how she really cooked Stephen A. Smith. And really told him, like, they could have been talking about the WNBA before this, but they didn't want to do it. She said, Angel Reese bought the views. Bro, listen, Angel Reese is going to raise money. She's going to be getting endorsements. She's going to be in movies, shows, music videos, all that's coming. It's in the works right now. Because she has that aura, that appeal. She already got the social media presence. Art, like Entertainers are rocking with her, period. And that's just what it is. That's just a simple... Sometimes you just got that type of... You just got that type of personality in the league, like a shack. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's important for the lead. That helps grow the lead. I mean, excuse me, that helps grow the lead. You know, it just it, the Magic Johnson type of type of vibe that you got. Because of all the extra. You said, bro, just compare Shaq to Andrew Reese. What's wrong with that? I was the first one to do that as well. You can compare Shaq to Angel Reese. Shaq had a real good personality. You know, he was in the limelight. Rappers, entertainers was rocking with him. And they both went to the same college. You know what I'm saying to you? And they both went to the same college. Right? So they already got a relationship. She already tapped in with Shaquille O'Neal. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, so now it don't mean nothing. So if it don't mean of how she gets to the lead, you know, you said she's immature and me too, me too. I mean, how is that immature? She's stating facts. How is that immature? She's stating facts though. She's a victim. No, she's a victor. She's a victor. Because she beat Caitlin Clark in the championship game. Caitlin Clark, the victim. Because she lost. I should be honest about it. You said they cooking you. I'm responding to everything y'all saying. Y'all ain't saying nothing that's landing. Y'all not landing on no points. She's a victor. Right? You said she's salty. What's she salty about? What reason would she had to be? She said they mad Caitlyn Clark not living up to the hype. Oh, yeah, they definitely mad about that. Because they just mad she's not doing exactly what they said she was going to do. They said, oh, she's going to do the same thing that she was doing in college. She's going to do the same thing in the league. And then, look, all the people in the league were saying, all the women were saying was, well, I mean, she's not, listen, she's just not going to be doing the same things. She's going to be surprised when she gets here. That's all. That's all they said. And they gonna call they going to call them haters. Then when it turned out to be true, now they got all of these excuses, crying on TV. Oh, we got a protector. They not protecting her. Protector? What you mean? Fuck did you mean? Y'all said she was a big dog. They ain't said, listen, Candace Park was getting beat down her, her rookie season. You're supposed to power through that. If you don't power through it, then you're not that, you're not that guy, pal. You're not that girl, pal. If you can't power through it, you're really not the one. Angel Reese going to power right through it. They, look, let me tell you what they hate about Angel Reese the most, right? What they hate about what they hate about Angel Reese the most is her confidence. 
they really hate the fact that they can't change nothing about how she feels about herself, the way how she's going to move, how she's going to carry herself. She's never she's never uh waving off of that. Cuz she's from my home, <coughs> excuse me. She's from my hometown. And we don't do that here. Y'all notice all the takes I had that y'all ever disagreed with me on, I never dis I never swayed from my takes. Cuz I'm from Baltimore. And what it is is we don't do that. We going to stand on what it is that we believe on the situation, bro. You said there you go, bias. No, I mean, listen. Is it? Am I lying to you or am I flying to you? Am I lying about that though? You said she's jealous because everyone is better than her. So everybody. So what pick she got drafted? Was she like the sixth pick? If everybody is better than her, why does she get drafted number six? Why she get drafted number seven? So why wasn't she the last pick? You said everybody better than her. You said that's why we knew Angel Reese over Clark. Reese is local. Also, oh, Joe Lewis, you from around here? Shamari, what you got to say about this, Shamari? This is actually getting under my skin. We need um a, a actual analyst expertise on this to come up here if she has the time. Um, Shamari, the people really would like to know what you feel about this uh, situation, man. That's what we've been waiting for, really. Um, so if you had the time, you can bless it. This, you know what? Angel Reese is 100% correct in what she said. There are people that go to the games to watch her. There are people that watch the WNBA because of her. She wasn't the only one. Kayla Clark wasn't. In order, the biggest reason people started watching women's college basketball was because of the rivalry between LSU and Iowa in the championship. Therefore, if a rival rivalry has taken place, that means there has to be two people. Two people. Right? Exactly. So, it was between Kaylin Clark and Angel Reese, you know. And the race war kind of started it in college between those two. And and that's just what it is. I don't know what, like, Angel Reese is 100% right. Mulatto, one of the biggest female rappers in the game, said on national TV that she came to see Angel Reese. Thank you. That's what I keep trying to tell these people. Like, they are ignoring the truth. They are. And it's because they're Caitlin Clark fans. And Caitlin Clark fans are toxic. She's got to her, her fan base more toxic than LeBron fans, which is crazy. I think I think Caitlin Clark fans they the first casual fans of the uh of the WNBA. They they're are because they cause before this everybody that really watched the WNBA was genuine fans of of, of the game and all of that. Now you literally just have Caitlin Clark fans and they tune out everybody else. That, that's 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 the part that gets frustrating. I just said my live got restricted. That's the part that get frustrating because they tune out everybody else. He said, because nobody else is worth watching. That's not true. That's how you know he don't watch it. That's how you know he don't watch it. Like, remember, Maya Moore, like, you had girls like Maya Moore and, and Uncle Drew. So she on the court with Kyrie, Ray mm -hmm. Reggie Miller, Chris Webber, Aaron Gordon. And I'm talking about doing damage, getting buckets really hezzy in. So, like, they they make it seem like and then I don't think Caitlin Clark in, in my personal opinion like she's amazing she's a good basketball player but she's just not the best that I've seen. So if somebody not the best that they like you've seen they feel as though that you hating on that person. Candace, that is so weird. Oh, and I wanted to ask you. So did did Candace Parker win the champ? I mean, win the MVP her rookie season? Yep. See, See? it's only been like. Because I even tried to go, to, and, and when people were making this claim that like Kayla Clark would come into the league averaging 30, being the best player in the league, and she would win MVP in her rookie year, I'm like, there's only been one player in, in WNBA history to do that. And it's only been like two to three players 
and if I'm not mistaken, in NBA history to do that. Her chances of doing that are very slim. We kept telling people that Kaylin Clark will not be the best player in the league, and she is not the best yeah. player in the league. And she's already, it like, it's not even clear cut that she's going to win with the year. Right. Hey, I'm on my what, what about, uh, what's that girl named that point guard that hit that cross? Somebody over hit the game winning three on, on Kaylin Clark team. That was, she hit it on Kaylin Clark. Are you talking about Sabrina? No, Caitlin Clark team. It was like I think it's a Rike or something like that. Yeah, she hit a game winning shot. A Rike. She's she another better, player. She's better than Caitlin Clark. She is, yeah. She definitely is. A Rike better. It's a like it's like fifteen player, ten to fifteen players better than Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. And, and that's no hate. Like I like you can literally like you can clearly see she's better. But exactly. they're not going they're not gonna just they're not gonna take this opportunity to really promote all the plays you got everybody watching why don't just why don't you just promote like this is actually the time the WNBA should just promote all of their best players mm -hmm. and get the league booming right now this is the time to do that don't get people to turn away from it with, with all the negativity and you trying to force feed us one player like come on dog exactly you said, you said but dang she a rookie but if she's a rookie right well why are you acting like she's the best player in the league Exactly, and that's the thing. Now they, now these Caitlin Clark stands fans, whatever they are, casuals, want to draw back everything that they said when this girl was first getting drafted. Once again, there were polls being ran by the WNBA asking who was going to win MVP this season, and majority of the votes were Caitlin Clark. Right. So now that she hasn't reached these expectations, now it's, oh, well, she's just a rookie. No, that's not what y'all were saying a couple months ago. Not even a couple right. months ago. That's not what y'all were saying a couple days ago. I seen somebody say that she's the best rookie since Wilt. And that's a lie. That's <laughs> like, come on. That's a lie. Come on, dog. Yo, Angel Reese played here on Thursday in D.C. I really want to go to that game. You got to go to that, yeah. You got some people on here that's trying to join. He said, so who's the best rookie? Uh, you could argue, I mean, Kayla Clark in conversation, but I said it's not clear cut. Her. You got Michael Jordan, Kareem. I mean, you got guys that was better rookies, bro. Luca. We ain't even got to go to the Candace Parker. We didn't go to the WNBA. Clark, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up, y'all? Yeah, so what you think, yo? Who you think better? I mean, like, what you think about what Andrew Reese said? I think it sounded like a little bit of jealousy to me. Uh-oh. Brody said Dude, I'm just calling the spade a spade. Like, I'm not saying Caitlin Clark. I think, like, I agree with what you said about Caitlin Clark isn't the best I've seen. But... To say that she's not the best rookie this year, and y'all, if I seem like she's the only rookie being held to a standard, as if she needs to be yes, a finished product already. Yeah, exactly. Clutch, I know you know basketball, bro. The girl is only a rookie, regardless of how much hype she was getting. I think all the hype mainly comes from her upside of what people think she's gonna be in a few years. But the girl's only a rookie. But she's so, only a rookie. Okay, people, yeah, ahead, bro, people talk about listen. People talk about how bad yeah, she's been shooting from the field, right? Right or wrong? Yeah, but because y'all the same. The, come into the league. I, I didn't players, think, like, bro. Don't say, yo. I, I I understand basketball, so I understand the girl is only a rookie. She's gonna go through growing pains. She's and gonna struggle. I understand happens, that. This is what happens when you are a rookie. Victor Wembanyama had an awful preseason game, and not even awful preseason game. This man had an awful uh. Summer He's seven. Game, you're comparing a seven five player Wait, to stop, a six stop. foot it guard. Took one game. For us to completely make it seem like, oh, Victor is gonna be a bust. One summer league game, and people after that game, people I, were already calling Victor Wimbayama a bust. Not me. This is what happens. Stop, baby. Y'all gotta stop doing it. Y'all have got y'all can't put expectations on these these players, and then when they come into the league and don't play accordingly, we have every right to judge them. This is what happens. Victor went through. So is Andrew Reese playing, playing accordingly? Went through it. Every rookie goes through this. Y'all expected her to come into the league and shoot half court shots because that's what she was doing in college. She's struggling from three. 
Hey, yo, I expected her to come. Right. She's doing right. exactly what right. I expected. Right. Hold on, hold on. And Maurice, look. So the thing is, is when you had, like, when you hype Caitlyn Clark up, right? When everybody hypes her up, right? And she doesn't live up to the hype, right? And then what it is, is, like, what you see after she doesn't live up live up to the hype, what you see is they continue to hype her. Exactly. And not, and, and not talk about the girls that are doing what they thought Caitlyn right. Clark was so going to be doing. So do you think no, hold on, hold on, hold on, Caitlyn no, Clark no, is a on, finished on, product on, right now? No, hold on, hold on. I'm saying she's not a finished product, right? But if she's not a finished product, why still talk about her over the girls that are that are finished product? So now you got girls in the league that are better than Caitlyn Clark is in the league right now. But instead, of I agree with that. Them, right. But instead of talking about them, they're gonna continue to talk about Caitlyn Clark and say that everybody is you know watching because of Caitlyn. She's da da da. If it's other girls doing more damage than her in the league, why not talk about them? And 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 why not look at the fact that Angel Reese is bringing in a lot of viewers for the WNBA like I don't look at it as jealousy because you actually I, because I think Angel Reese is actually making a point if you if you if Angel if you're doing what Angel Reese is doing as far as viewership and having celebrities come and endorse and shout out the league and all of that and then and then and then people are going to say that everybody's watching just because of one other person and not acknowledging what you're doing you had to understand that like you know what I'm saying she has a point I think she just want to get her acknowledgement and her credit for that uh, All right, now, can I make a point about Andrew Reese, bro? Because I've been rooting for Andrew Reese as well, bro. So I'm not going to, you know, hate off near one of these ladies. But the the thing I don't understand, I feel like Andrew Reese isn't getting any slander right now. We, we bash Caitlin Clark for her shooting percentages. Right? We bash Caitlin Clark for her shooting percentages. Now, if you look at the shots that she's taking, she's bombing up these deep threes, fadeaway step back threes. Yeah, and the shots that Andrew Reese are taking are all shots in the paint. But yet, and Caitlin Clark still shoots a higher percentage from the field but look, than Andrew so that, Reese. And so all that, Andrew no, Reese look, shooting the shots said, in the paint. They no, said, but nobody's they, talking about how said, bad she's shooting. They said because Angel nobody Reese, expected Angel Reese's offensive right. game to even translate to the WNBA. Thank we you. expect if, if you were a real fan, you would see that you would know. You telling me Angel Reese's game, game don't no, translate no, no, to the WNBA? No, no, no. If you watch the if you watch college basketball, people were talking about how Angel Reese would not be able to translate in the WNBA Facts. for a rookie year. Everybody Facts. was saying this. She has Facts. surprised us in translating defensively, but yes, there is still a lot that she's got to work on offensively, but the fact that she's been able to translate defensively is a goal in itself because nobody expected her to do all this in terms of rebounding the ball, even though she was a good rebounder in LSU. People were just focused on her offensive package, which she see, lacked. I don't see. Hey, I, hey, Shamari, I, I on, never on, heard. I'm going to be on, honest on, with you. On, I've on, never heard anything crazy. about no one on, saying on, her Shemari, game wouldn't translate. Shemari, I've never heard that. Hold on. Hey, Maurice, yeah, okay, then you hey, don't Shemari, be in space. Everybody, and Shamari, you remember everybody said, listen, she got to go back to college for another year. She got to work on her yeah, hands in the lab. Well, Reese, so I was saying, yeah, listen, wait, I, I I, I, after so watching her play, right, so I look, was saying she was so ready to come look, out. And Maurice, and I, so, therefore, and, and, she, so therefore, she's over exceeding expectations. And then, you have, and then with Caitlin Clark, they said she was going to do better. So because I you thought have to, she was going to, I swear but, on everything I love, Crunch, I thought that she would stay another year in college to work on her offensive game because I myself did not her feel offensive, like she's not showing anything offensively. The only thing she's doing NBA. good now is yeah, rebounding still, the ball. Yeah, but Maurice, that's why I was saying she's still going to be substantial in the league. Because what I like said, that hustle Maurice, she has, hey, Maurice, Crunch, you know, basketball, hold on, hold on, Crunch. Hold on, Maurice, I said she's going to be Boogie Cousins in the league as far as WNBA. Everybody says she <laughs> undersized, so she can't get rebounds. So I'm saying that's not true because you had to look at her attitude, her aggression, and her passion for the game. She has actual skill, too. She's going to work on that. That's going to come natural. But she's filling it out. And at the end of the day, everybody said she wasn't going to be doing nothing, right? But she is. But they're going to still call her trash. But if you're going to call her trash, right, why they don't talk about when Caitlin Clark be missing layups? Why they don't I don't talk think. She, why they, Hold on. I'm not why, calling Angel Reese trash. Hey, Maurice, hey, Maurice, why don't they talk about when Caitlin Clark had three points? You know what I'm saying? So if, if they're going to – because they still, despite all the good stuff Andrew Reese is doing, they're talking about the bad. So they're going to talk about the bad at one player, but the good on another player. So that's, I'm just being that's honest with point. you, Crunch. I don't hear nobody slandering Andrew Reese. And, like, 
and that's the God's honest truth. I never hear anyone talking. The most I hear people say is that she just throws the ball up at the rim. I'll just say, side Marie, you low key just slandered it. Exactly. By telling the truth, by saying that um she's shooting a um lower a field goal percentage than Caitlin Clark, that's not slander. That's the truth. Sometimes slander is truth. So why is it? That's not. But I'm but telling like, the truth, though. I, though the point I, I was Clark. saying, I don't understand how people s s give Caitlin Clark slander by her field goal percentage, and how she's shooting a bunch of threes, and she still how shoots a higher that, percentage no, than Caitlin Clark. Slander. I mean, didn't Reese? You just sat there, and we just talked about Angel Reese's offensive game and how she isn't efficient. And we could do the same thing and assess Kayla Clark the exact same way. She's shooting the yeah, ball I'll and be... she isn't efficient and she's also playmaking, but she's turning over the ball at a high rate. So right. we can assess the game without and the, so everything you just, you just said Angel. is everything that's I hear people saying that's about her. Right. That's Angel. Right. So exactly. we're gonna do that for Caitlin. Let's right. keep it fair. Right. Exactly. I do, yeah, I do it for both. I've been saying, see, you, you, you just all called it hate when we talked about Caitlin Clark and what she's been doing on the court. But I've said her Angel Reese's statement sounds like hate. It sounds like it's coming from a place of hate. How is it hate when she heard that when a rivalry was birthed in the co a collegiate in the collegiate level between these two players? I mean, in order for a rivalry to exist, you have to have one. You have to have two people. At least two people. Right. So she's if she's the biggest reason that that rivalry existed, her ass brought in fans just like Caitlin Clark brought in. They fans. only have a rivalry because of Andrew Reese did that. You can't see me think crap. Okay. It's so not like Reese they're equally talented. So they're, no, they're not in the no. same class talent wise. Right, they're that. not. No, listen, listen, listen. Nobody listen, said listen. that. And listen, but for that championship exactly, game, right? Ryan. Hold like on. you can, Maurice, people Maurice, get Maurice. mad when you defend hey, Maurice, Caitlin Maurice. Clark. I really don't no, understand Maurice, that. Maurice, hold on, hold on. Like I'm not I, don't, I don't get hey, it. Hey, Maurice, hey, I ain't get mad. But for that championship, not game, you. Right. I'm talking about the young lady. Hold on, hold on. And Shamaria, remember that season. Like, so good. before the champ, so before the championship game, right? Like just during that college season, Angel Reese used to be trending all the time. She used to be doing stuff during the games, like talking trash, crunch. Don't You're a man, bro. Saying, Why is Andrew Reese trending saying. all the time? You're a man, bro. Saying, Keep it a hundred. No, I'm saying. Why is she saying, trending, no, bro? I'm saying this. No, I'm saying this though. I'm not saying at the same level as a play. I'm saying for what for for her style of play, she was trending. She was getting known. She was popular. Remember, she transferred. She was at Maryland. She was trending mm -hmm. up Maryland. Then she transfers to LSU. It was a big mm -hmm. thing. A big powerhouse. Ryan, thank you. Right. In the in, big... in the chat, he know what's up. No, but look, Mar Maurice, it was a big thing when she transferred to LSU. So now mm -hmm. that whole season she was, you know, doing damage, actually putting up real big numbers. She was actually breaking records and stuff like that, doing good stats at LSU. And they met in the championship game. So it was a big thing because of Angel Reed's attitude and, you know, her what she was bringing to the table. And then you have what Caitlin Clark was bringing to the table. Angel Reese won, and everybody started hating Angel Reese. Well, she won that's, that's, exactly. That's, that's literally. But who hates Andrew? I, I thought everybody loved Andrew Reese. The fact that you say that she's jealous because of this statement when you just admitted that the uh the robbery bro, started. Bro, she. Stop, stop, everybody stop. and bro. Not finished. The fact that you just admitted that the robbery started when Angel Reese waved her hand in the championship, meaning that you you basically admitting that Angel Reese did there was a rivalry. Uh oh, and, and that and from that <laughs> rivalry, and from that rivalry, people came to, and came and started to watch W not WNBA but women's college basketball because of that rivalry in the championship. So if you can sit there and admit that, I don't know why it's so hard for you casuals of the WNBA to admit that Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese both have a fan base and brought their fan base over to the WNBA. It is when did I ever say Andrew Reese Clark. didn't have a fan base? Hey, Crunch, no, didn't because, I start this off saying I'm a fan of both she, of the young ladies? You I'm just, it's, I just, I, I, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm calling a spade a spade. You Caitlin is better. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 I'm a fan of both of them. You said it was you jealousy. You literally just said the statement that she made behind Crunch. Yeah, it's it sounds like it's coming from a place. It, it, it sounds like she's saying, me, it's me too, hold up. Me too, me too. too. It sounds like that's what she's saying. If you hold on, just Marie. admitted that Angel did ha does have a fan base, how is that jealousy? I never, okay. You contradicting the message because no, you know why? Because she's mad because more people talk about now it's because Clayton and Clark than her. That's what it is. 
She she doesn't like the notion that everybody is saying Caitlin Clark's the ones who bring in the fans. Bro, I never said Maurice, Andrew Reese didn't have Maurice, fans. Maurice, she Maurice, doesn't like the fact. Hey, Maurice, hey, Maurice, that's, hold on, hold on. Real, hey, yo, hey, yo, real quick, real, Maurice, real quick, both of y'all. Yourself. Yeah, you look, hey, yo, real quick. We're time out, time out, y'all. Let's break down what just now was just said. So, Maurice, I, I, I need you to respond to what Shamari just now said about how you said it was jealousy with she, what Andrew Reese said. But how is it jealousy if what she said? This is, is what, what I'm saying, Crush. I'm the fact saying, that you just I never said, said, that said the Andrew Reese doesn't have a fan base. No, 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 no. Country, you're a man. I ne listen, listen. I never said the girl doesn't have a fan base. But she. It, but when people talk about the new buzz around the WNBA, everyone clearly says is Caitlin Clark. No, I'm Maurice, saying Andrew Maurice. Reese is sitting back there like, hold up. What about me? What about Maurice, me? Maurice, That's what it Maurice. sounds like to me. Maurice, listen, listen. Maurice, listen to me, right? You said that the rivalry started due to the fact that Angel Reese did the celebration to Caitlin Clark, right? So, bro, but what does that have oh, no, to do wait, with anything I just right, said just now? Tell, I never said right she didn't have a I'm fan right base. Y'all are making it seem like I'm saying the girl don't got a fan I'm base. To, no, no, I feel you. I'm about to tell you what it has to do with it right now. So what it has to do with it is, is that so by that being the case, that means that what Angel Reese said is low key has some truth to it. So if it has, tr because what she said was, people are watching not just because of one person, right? So therefore, you said that the rivalry started, and Shamari is basically saying that for a rivalry to start, it has to involve at least two people. So that means that what Angel read Reece your said, comments, Crunch. No, hold on. So what Angel Reese saying is true. So how can it be jealousy if it's true? That's all we asking you. He's contradicting himself. Because you could have kept your comment to yourself. You could have if you you could have kept your comment to yourself. But you, we you don't, don't hear Cameron question, Brink. You don't hear Cameron Brink interview. coming out like, "Hey, it, um, it's but me it's too, interview, me too." But 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 because you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, it's an interview though. You could have kept your comment to yourself. You could have kept your comment to yourself. It's an interview though. And exactly, she was asking questions. Right, and Shamaria, so you had made a point. You said something. So look, somebody in the comments just said, I seen him. He said, nobody's watching Angel Reese. But you made no, a people comment. watch her. I watch her. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But you made a comment. You said Mulatto, the rapper, said that she literally watching for Angel Reese. On oh, national TV. Right, but it's people in the comments saying that you lying and stuff like that, though. Right? So Because they can't let Clark stand. They casual. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if you lying. How if you, you if you if you're a Caitlin Clark fan, you're a casual. I've been watching women's basketball for years. I'm a Breonna Stewart fan. Wherever Breonna Stewart go, I go crunch. I rock with Breonna Stewart. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and same vice right versus same thing with Maya Moore was playing years ago. I was rocking with Minnesota because of Maya Moore. Everybody is always a casual just because somebody like so I get so so Andrew Reese fans no. are casuals then. No, so the people bro, that just watch the game for Andrew Reese are casuals. I'm not gonna take no, offense to it because I'm more than just an Angel Reese fan, first of all. Yeah, and it's I, not and it's I've not been watching the WNBA it's not for that. multiple years. So I've been watching you, the, the multiple if you the, take the, the sport for years. A casual, the hit dog hollering. I'm not you taking a fence to. I'm just saying. Why yeah, is it? Okay. It just seems like. So are Andrew Reese fans casuals as well? Then you for for the new basketball casual. fans that's following Andrew Reese, I'm are they casuals? I'm a fan myself. So I like all the rookies in the league. But I don't understand how it was jealousy when you contradicted the mess out of yours. I'm really trying not. To I never did. I never did. I, I clicked. Never did. You contradicted yourself. Never, never contradicted you myself. Yourself. Never did. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, just sat there, you just sat there and said, why would she? I never she said that, that stop, she didn't stop, have stop, a family. Stop, stop, stop. I said, you just sat he there asked the question, stop. what is this? It you sounds like a jealousy. Stop. You just sat there and said, you just made it seem like Angel Reese was just talking out of her ass. This interview, I never said that. To, stop. Okay, but she was asked a question, so it's not like she just said this out of the blue. It was an interview. It's not like she just trying to get people to. No, that's not the case. She was asking right. the question. She exactly. answered the question because y'all be thinking that she's so focused on Caitlyn. No, the media focused on Caitlyn, and they always mm. ask these players about questions regarding no. Caitlyn Clark. That's she true. answered the question, and she gave a good answer because, like you said, it was a rivalry that started between two teams, two players. Therefore, 
that was what caused the increase in popularity for the uh, women's college basketball. And from that, the fan base has carried over into the WNBA. I don't know why we acting like that's not that's not what happened when it is. Y'all so stuck up on Caitlin Clark because y'all watching the media. Y'all need to be a WNBA space. Go be a WNBA spaces, please. Man, listen, dog. That's just facts. That's hundred percent facts. Like, there's really no coming back from that one. Hey, uh, J.O., what you got on this? I agree with her. And it was like, it's like what Mariah was saying. Like, people trying to make it seem like Angel Reese was just trying to prove herself so bad when she's being asked these questions. I don't know how exactly. to respond. You want her to say, oh, yeah, I ain't got shit to do with this. It's all okay. Why the hell would she say that? It makes no sense. Exactly. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, man. Um, it just, it just, it's just one of them things. What y'all think about Gigi Watkins, Paige? They gonna bring in their own fan base too, cause I, I see an increase in viewership with Paige and Juju in the next couple of years. So what are we gonna say? The increase is gonna be Caitlyn Clark because she going into her sophomore year. Is that yeah, what we gonna say? Juju yeah, really yeah, about to bring yeah, a fan base. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All hey look, all the other fans that come in because of Juju Watkins, they're gonna be like, "Oh, Caitlin Clark bringing in more uh, revenue, more fans, <laughs> more Caitlin Clark fans." Right. <laughs> and, and I say, hey, "May I ask y'all how y'all feel about last night? Caitlin Clark walking off the court and not getting tr in trouble, not getting fined, not even getting talked about." Oh, she walked off the court last With night. With five minutes left in the game, she down thirty points. She only got three points and had a little hissy fit and walked off the yeah, court. Talk about my ear know. hurt. I can't defend that angle. She said I my can't. ear hurt. But Boston is still in the game with almost a broke ankle. But she's still in the game. Are you complaining about an ear? Come on, man. Ain't nobody talking about the first take. Nobody's talking about it. Yeah, uh -oh. I can't defend uh -oh. that. If I ain't know about that. Happened, I can't defend That's that. That's not. Look, if Andrew Reese did that, whoo, man, she was getting man. railroaded. I just made a whole video at TikTok about that. I just put it all up there. Like, this is just sad. Because Angel Reese would have got crucified for it. Crucified. Oh, yeah. They don't want to sit there and say, don't nobody talk about Angel Reese in no negative way. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. I definitely needed to hear that one. Yeah, I just got, before I seen yo, um, seen this, I just got done putting it on TikTok. Like, oh, then I seen yours, and I was wondering what you guys was talking about. All right, but I'm going to repost that uh, as soon as I get off. I'm gonna go to the the thing about Caitlyn Clark, her haters are annoying, but her fans are just as annoying. Like her diehard fans act like she can't do no wrong. It's just both sides annoy the hell out of me. I ain't gonna lie. I wish people would just shut up. But, I just you know, see Sambo's and Kentucky fans. That's it. That's all I see on Caitlyn <laughs> side. Like it's so annoying, especially when they look like me. Like oh my god. Now, I like Caitlyn Clark though. I, I like. I mean, her too. basketball. That's great. You're a great shooter. Her person. All right, yo, attitude. a shot fool. A shot fool. Please keep the peace. It's her personal nah, nah, nah. attitude I that I do agree. not like. Mario was cooking that cooking Brody. I ain't gonna lie. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy. Unless you put that man in a deep fry. This Caitlyn Clark love. This Caitlyn Clark love is too much. I can't take it anymore. No matter what she does, everybody is defending her. But if Angel Reese says one word, she's automatically the hard R. Exactly. Exactly. See, Angel Reese, the one out here crying. Y'all yeah. got to remember, yo, these girls are just going to be passionate, bro. Like, <laughs> you got to remember, especially when these girls been putting in all these. Look, uh, at this. Look, look, look at the chat. CC making 20 million on endorsements in the story. Bro, she, she is the most successful. She, she, she got a good contract, friend. but Angel Reese going to make all of that. On, on, she's the most successful. Angel Reese going to make that, though. Actually, Angel Reese gonna make that though. I, actually, before the Nike deal, I think Angel Reese made more than Caitlyn Clark. She did, oh, it, I guess. Yeah, oh, they'll be was. working hard at this game, yo. Like, girl, I be seeing girls going to practice every day. They, like, they practice being tense. They like years and not getting no recognition and all this like, stigmas and stuff, stereotypes. Now like, all of a sudden, she he, he's dude, Gigi. He keeps saying that Caitlyn Clark leads in whatever, 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 bro. She just dropped three points last night. Caitlin Clark is the most successful loser. No, nah, I listen. Caitlin Clark, nice, yo. I ain't, I ain't gonna hate on Caitlin Clark. I ain't never I'm not hating. I'm just saying, hate. like, we never it's give her any hate. negative credit. Never. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying. I do. Say, I do think she got games. She yeah, I just believe somebody she's in the comments. If you want to join, you have to send a request. That's it. She's just a great shooter. She has no defense. She has no athleticism. She doesn't have nothing but a shot. 
I think we need to give her time. She's a good playmaker, though. She a good. I give her playmaking, but she got a dust oh, them turnovers. She's a good playmaker, though. She a good. I give her oh, playmaking, but she got a dust them turnovers. She's a good playmaker, though. She All right, good, so we're talking, good, we're talking about what Caitlin Clark don't have. What does Angel Reese have besides being an aggressive rebounder? We just talk can't about dribble, can't shoot. He's one of the best defenders in the He's league. He plays good defense. Oh, no. He has a lack of. He's a great defender. Angel Reese been bringing the ball one at a time, real quick. Just like Draymond Green, Angel Reese been doing that. Hey, I'm first. Uh, Maurice, see, this is what I mean. The goalpost moves so quick. You, we sit here critiquing Caitlin Clark because of the expectations once again that y'all put on her. Y'all expected this girl to come into the league and be the best player, somehow get the Indiana the Fever to the playoffs, and win MVP. Nigga, no. I don't even know why y'all sit there and said that. Asia Wilson has been the best player in the league, and Caitlin Clark couldn't even scrub the feet off of Asia Wilson's feet. The it's not even close. Angel Wilson is clearly the best player in the league. And like I said before, Caitlin Clark is not even clearly the best rookie in the uh, Rick of the Year case. So we just got to keep it a B. I encourage you to go in WNBA spaces and hear the amount of shit that people talk about Angel Reese and her offensive game. She's one of the best defenders in the league, which we expected to translate. Not so much her offense. Asia okay. is their girl, and so is Angel Reese. Thank you. Hey, Maurice, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here, bro. Yeah, what's your... Now, all right, when y'all say y'all expected Caitlin McCart to come in here and be this best player, I think y'all speaking for the people who probably wasn't in tune with the girls' game before she got there. I never expected Caitlin to come in and be the best player in the league already. Maybe not even the best player five, six years down the line because I just don't see her catching up with Sabrina Unescu. That's just my personal opinion. And then I think it's players behind her that's coming in better than her, Paige and Juju. Just my personal opinion. But I'm not taking anything away from the girl because she's playing exactly the way I expected. I just didn't expect her to turn the ball over as much. But as far as missing the shots and struggling, I expected that because I've played ball. I've been watching ball all my life. This just what rookies go through is a learning curve. When she gets stronger and better, she'll play better. Angel's big trash, though. All right, Angel Reese is not trash. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> but um, my thing is, bro, and this is the thing with people, fans everywhere, y'all going to complain regardless. Like, y'all just like to complain, bro. Like, y'all was complaining, saying she was getting too much publicity. Now y'all saying, oh, she's not playing good enough for all the hype she was getting. Which one do y'all want, bro? Like, stop complaining. And then y'all over, over here, oh, it's a white girl taking over the sport. But then a black girl starts getting the clout. And that's a problem, too, just because y'all don't like women. And I and I hate and I hate to be, I don't want to sound homophobic, but, like, if y'all really hate women so much, y'all need to just come out the closet, for real. That's all I got to say. I'm going to just let the 10 seconds play out. Yeah, man, like, man, J.O. just keeping it 100, man. Uh, I think Shaq food next. Somebody had dropped down. Yeah, man. I'm not going to lie. What he said on Angel Reese is insanity. But we all know who got that ring, though. <laughs> Let him hate. <laughs> Listen, man. I I really, I mean, honestly, Shamari <laughs> pretty, pretty much explained the whole thing. I ain't going to lie. You could tell by the chat that it's just straight up, it's just straight up hate for Angel Reese. Over Kate McCart. You could you can look at Instagram comments, any social media. If Kate Lecar says something, it's God's it's God's truth. Not to hate on her. She's a probably gonna be a good player one day. Who knows? Who cares? She's bringing it, she's bringing in money for the league, so or helping bring in money for the league. So it don't really matter. As long as she helps. Exactly. The league, you, you think Caitlin Clark better than um Chris Paul? <laughs> Never in a quadrillion years. I don't think she better than Chris Paul. She might not be better than Chris Paul's son. <laughs> the way she play it. And I, I think she might be better than Chris Paul. No, no, she's not. Never in a million years. But Chris Paul's top three. Top five. No, nah, I think she... No, nah, I'll yeah. play right over Chris Paul. No, never, never, never. Ah, man. So, yeah, man. Um, Your madness for that. You're crazy. It's just... It's just... It's just... People people going to see, man. I think Andrew Reese going to win championships. They still going to be hating. She's going to raise a lot of money. She's going to be in movies. But before you finish, before you finish, I got one thing to say. Somebody says something in the comments. I got... I can't... 
the comments but say y'all break it and brace in 2024 bro literally that's all everybody talks about go too, look, go on facebook they're talking about they bring in race you're bringing it race in 2024 first of all yeah race, that's so, that is that's what it is it's all about race look at 20, race. look at 20 look at this look at the 2023 iowa comments in, in the final four when she did the you can't see me everybody was saying oh yeah all the iowa fans oh yeah they were saying caitlin court's amazing that is so funny that is a great move we love her she's amazing but then when they lost the shit, when they lost against lsu look in the comments again they're calling her and we're they're saying all these things saying she's classes in this all she did the same thing. yeah Marcy, that's that's bullshit no marie swear that's ain't, bullshit ain't no angel head though he swear I looked at all the comments, nobody. thousands of he comments. Swear I swear to God, I wish it was never, ain't never got a hate comment. And this girl done cried on national TV in a press look, conference. Look at like, Angel Reese post. All they say is that she's no, a I'm crazy. saying, I, no, I never heard hate comments is uh, like geared towards her game. I hear hate comments, yes, comments about have. her personality. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Yes, yes you have. I hear about her personality. I don't hear anything. Nobody talking yes, bad about her I game. Don't know why we're hey, yo, everybody, everybody, everybody saying Caitlyn Clark. Everybody saying Caitlyn Clark. Everybody saying Caitlyn Clark. Look at the WNBA comments. Hey, look, hey, look. Everybody saying Caitlyn Yeah, because I watched her play. I'm like, yo, all right, she can rebound, but what else can she do? She big. Every time I watch her, she, she just throwing the ball up at the rim. What you mean? She's throwing the hold on. What are you talking about? She just throwing the ball at the rim. Maurice, because she's dominant. She gonna be a dominant. Man, she player. just be throwing the ball at the hoop. What is what is Caitlin does? Be, oh, she's she just a just dominant player, bro. Complain. That's why she gonna be physically dominant, physically imposing in the league. No, she gonna be tough ball. once she once she gets she that mid range that. down pack. She gonna she she's need, gonna get I'm it. Saying, like some players, she's gonna like, get it. Some players like Shaq. Cork's invincible now. Some players like Shaquille O'Neal don't have no mid range game, bro. She. No, she's gonna have one because because she you can tell by because her shot isn't broken. No, no, I'm saying because. Sometimes you don't really need it. Now I think she's going to develop it, but no, she day, is. You say she throws stuff up at the rim. That's because some players play like that and just physically dominant, physically imposing. I don't see Brianna Stewart just throwing it up at the rim because she's not a well, big because man. They play two different ways. They damn near the same size. Man, Maurice, like, this man Maurice don't about? know the hey, yo, Maurice, don't tell me you don't know the they, oh, 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 how tall is Andrew Reese? Hey, look, don't tell me you don't know. Because they both play the power forward position, if I'm not mistaken. They both power forward. I'm saying, Murray, but you have different ways. Right. I mean, Andrews has longer arms than Brianna Stewart, too. Bro, they're both power forwards. Hey, Maurice, some power forwards can shoot threes and some don't. Some centers can shoot threes. Sometimes you got Amari Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire got a lot of paints in the. You uh, talking about power four shooting threes, and I'm talking about power four just throwing anything up at the rim. Bro, you're not hearing me. I'm saying sometimes what? you have a physically. Uh, Are you an Iowa fan? Player. By chance? <laughs> no, I'm a uh, I'm a um, Brianna Stewart fan. I ain't he gonna hold you. Brianna Stewart fan. That's about. I love Brianna Stewart. So what's college? You an Iowa fan by any chance? College? Yeah. No, I just, I just, I'm a fan of college sports. Period. I don't just root for one team. Like I just watch. I want to see a good so, game. So, so when, so when Angel Reese, how'd you feel about what Angel Reese just asked? How'd you feel about what Angel Reese said that you can't see me? <laughs> I, I didn't definitely. see a problem with it, and I don't know why people made a big deal about it. Like you, not for nothing. If you win the champ, if y'all don't <laughs> want her to do the you can't see me thing, then don't let her win the championship. You can't get mad at the person as long as she didn't come disrespectful. She didn't do anything that, you know what I'm saying, kids could look at and say, oh, that's some bullshit. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's why I never understood why she got so much slander behind that. Maurice, Maurice, I feel as though. You know exactly why she got slandered. Hey, Maurice, hey, Maurice, hey, Maurice, hey, Maurice. Yeah, well, yeah, I know exactly why. Like I said, I think her race came to the point, but I just didn't see anything wrong with that. Hold on, Maurice, Maurice, Maurice. Come on, I think you playing both sides of the fence. Yeah. Because I'm speaking facts instead of just speaking from well, emotion. You ain't speaking no facts. Maurice, Maurice. That is a fact that I don't real see quick, why they gave her slander for that. I, I quick, never though, seen anything uh, wrong with Maurice, that. Maurice, though. Maurice, though. This oh, you ain't played no you ain't played no no basketball, man. Wait, you crazy as hell. I bet you couldn't guard me. No basketball, man. You ain't played no basketball. I bet you couldn't guard me. I can tell my basketball, man. I can tell my basketball. You play in the backyard. Real quick. Hey, let's let's play in the backyard. That's how you play. Hey, guitarist, go ahead, Joe. Uh, since you just joined, what do you think about the whole thing? Hey, he, he played in the backyard. That man ain't played no basketball. Because her <laughs> position is power forward. And her position is power forward. Rebound and put the ball in the basket. That's your position. Right. You, you, that's, a, that's a power forward position. Rebound right. and put the ball in the basket. You exactly. Ain't played, you ain't playing a lick of goddamn basketball. I'm telling you what you ain't played, man. <laughs> I put that on my life. You ain't played nobody basketball. Damn, I'm going to get out. 
<laughs> that's what I was trying. I was trying to tell them. Some play, players like play in the goddamn backyard or back, oh, their court. They value play. That's what yo. Some players. That's all they do. Like you know, what I'm, that's all they got. That's their job. I'm about to say even the hoop sessions. The tall niggas really ba- barely be shooting. <laughs> bro, you get the rebound, put a it pile, in the rim. A you power forward position is to play. That's what wrong with the. That's what wrong with this game right now. Everybody don't know their position in basketball. Facts. Everybody playing. I don't like their position. They got guard playing. That's why some guard can't play their position. Because you got big, big man playing their position. Vitar, stop for a second. <laughs> Everybody stop. Crunch, kick Gigi out the chat. I can't take it anymore. Please stop with this Kayla Clark suck it. She, does she, do you have stock in her? Are nah, you cool. manager? Kayla Clark, Clark, cool. Clark, 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 she can play. Stop, she played her position well. Kayla Clark played her position anymore. very well. She played it very yeah, well. Yeah, right, right. How do you she's nice, yo. I think she's nice, man. You can't, you can't take nothing of what these girls do. How does he know that? How does he know that? How does he know she have a she tweet? She played well, but field? she averaged damn near the same amount of assists as she averaged turnovers. I swear, if this was an NBA player, we would not, we would be telling the truth. But, about you see what they did? But, to, let let did me let, let me ask you something. Hey, well. you see what they said to School but, Henderson? You saw but, what they said? You see what they said? But what do? Can I say something? But what do point what what do point guards and shooting guards do? They do turn the ball over eight percent of the time. A lot of time they do because they because they, they score they 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 attack the all the time. They always attack it. Right. Yeah, they the hey, can I address some at, of at the time, comments? At the time, the 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 can I address something that was said? I come while you beat your ass, man. I beat your ass. Young boy, I beat your ass, boy. Keep it basketball, bro. All right, all right, all right, crush. Nah, let's get hot, nigga. All right, crush. All right, Sam Maurice, and you gonna respond to what he said about the position? What? What? What was the question? Oh, see, and I'm saying, I'm saying he said that. I'm saying he said that basically what he said was was that you don't know nothing about this game because you don't know about the positions. And you don't know the fact that power forwards, you know, they do their job as far as rebounding and putting the ball in the basket. That's really what he said. Crush, would you agree that the game has evolved from the 90s I'm just, up until I'm now? Saying, like, I'm saying, like, that's what he's. I'm just saying, he said, he, like, what he said was, you don't know the game. You know, like, he said, he said, the only basketball you played was in the backyard. <laughs> so I'm just trying. You going to go like that? Bro, I, I'm 34 years old, Crunch. I got a, I broke my leg five years ago playing ball. I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody over this basketball shit, but I know for a no, fact. Hey, look, I'm, I'm not just going to sit yeah, here and say I'm the greatest nigga in the world. But I play, I guarantee I played with better competition than him. I played with niggas that's in the league right now, and I put this on my kids. I, so I, I'm not sitting here saying I was the best nigga coming up, but I played with niggas in the league that's playing right now, and I put this on my kids. I don't need to lie about that. Look, I'm with you. I- I feel you. I'm just saying that's what he said. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to get in. I hear, uh, listen, listen to him. Do he sound like he ever picked the ball up? You never know. Or do he sound bit, like yeah. he's stuck what, in the I'm 80s saying, or something? That, I'm just saying, bit, what yeah. that got to do with how you... Because you know what I'm saying? Why I'm just saying, or do it sound bit. like he's stuck in the 80s or the 90s? Talking about some how, how a power forward post would say. How, I mean, how power forwards are supposed to play. Bro, the game has evolved, bro. The game is more like a positionless basketball. You got hey, small forwards playing at the power forward position now. Jason Tatum's playing the floor. All right, but what he's saying, what he's saying is that playing, playing, you, tra- playing your role the traditional way, there's nothing wrong with that. You're making this. I never, and I, when did I ever say it was? You, that's how you was making it seem. Oh, she just throwing the ball at the rim. She's just a DJ, it, There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Make your shots. Make them. Y'all complaining about Caitlin Clark field goal percentage, but Caitlin Clark is shooting a higher percentage than Andrew Reese. And all Andrew Reese does is shooting the, the paint. To the NBA. That's what I heard. That's all I'm Andrew so does is shoot in the paint. She shoot more. She, she a big man. Why you? You watch the WNBA. If you watch, yeah, watch no football you football, would know. Football, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He exactly. Watch, I'm saying wait, wait, she's. Wait, 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 I'm not wait, saying wait, she's wait, not wait, supposed wait, to shoot wait, in the paint. No, no, no. But you if all your shots you are watch. coming in the paint, you should you, shoot a higher wait, field goal okay, percentage. Am I right or wrong? You watch. You you can't. You claim that you watch the WNBA. If we watch the WNBA and compare it to how the NBA is played, that's two different styles of basketball. That's a fact. NBA is okay, so nigga, why the fuck you want her out at the three point line, nigga? 
I did listen, listen, listen. You, 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 you're missing what I'm saying. I, you're missing what I'm saying. I never said get on the three point line. You're missing everything I'm saying. I'm saying all her shots are coming in the paint. So I'm oh, saying dude. she should shoot a higher percentage. I never said go shoot a three pointer. I said she's shooting all shots in the paint. So there's no reason why her field goal percentage shouldn't be higher than someone who shoots a bunch of thirty foot threes. And it's that no way. Why that might be true, that still doesn't make her a scrub because she's still valuable on the court. Like, yeah, I de she's definitely valuable, but people are making the same thing. Nah, like Angel Reese is trash. nothing you more know. than a role you player. Y'all make it trash. seem like Angel Reese is that's going to be a superstar. Look, not, she's look, nothing more than a role player, and which is okay. She's she's that's good. why I say, Maurice, I, like, I feel as though you're playing, like, you playing both sides because on one hand, you say she's trash, one hand, you say, Oh, I know she's valuable, I'm not really hating on her. Uh, you know, I don't get why people but give her so garbage much back. That's, that's why but, then, but then you'll turn Bro, around. I'm, and say, when I'm saying trash, as far as the way people are projecting her to be some type of superstar, she I is just a don't superstar. see it. Hey, look, hey, look, Maurice. I just Maurice. don't see it. You know, Maurice. I think hey, y'all y'all mixing popularity. Her popularity, popularity is why she's a superstar. She's a, yes, she's a superstar. Bro. You want rookie year before Caitlyn? By by, she's doing. Y'all think she's going? And the only thing she's doing over better than Caitlyn is rebounding. Caitlin no, got, she's got her by every single side. She's leaving defender. out defense like it's not in better defender. defenders in the league. Right. Like, I don't and know why look... we completely forget about the other side of the basketball. You only and... focus on one fucking side because that's the only side Caitlin good at. Offense. Wait, good, is, good is the hyperbole I would use, but I mean, go for it. But look, what I'm saying is this, is that she's a she superstar. No, Caitlin is a superstar too. I think they're both superstars. I think that's the point Andrew is making though. Is that they make them like there's only one superstar and it's, two, it's more than their one. Their popularity is making them a superstar, but Crunch, you know basketball. If you will, like take all the popularity out and you watch Caitlin Clark play, would you feel like she's a superstar right now? No. No. No, I, exactly. No, Plus, no. Listen, I think listen, it's listen. her popularity think, is what's making her a superstar, not her game. But look, but look, Maurice. I think even in the NBA, you're not really a superstar your rookie season yet until a couple of years later. So I, exactly, take, yeah. Take, hold on, hold on. Look, if I take away both of their probably both of their popularities, I would say they they are both gonna be superstars. That's what I'm saying. Do you think both of them should make the All Star team this year? No, I don't really know. I don't think they one of them should make the All Star team. I, I'm, be, I'm be honest with you. Well, it's still early. It's still early. I don't know enough about the rest of the players. I had. But I ain't gonna lie. We need to give Kayla a little bit of credit because they, to, she has uh, played eleven games in twenty-one days. They are running her through look, the ground. I ain't gonna lie. They no, look, I have to uh, defer to. Uh, no, they need to take her off the ball and put Kelsey Mitchell on the ball. I wonder what DJ think. Oh Jesus! Yo, bro, listen, right? Y'all looking at this joint the wrong way, right? When Melo right. and Bron and E Wade came in the league, LeBron was a superstar from day one because of the hype. Look, you know what I'm saying? Probably. So Caitlin. Caitlyn's a superstar from day one, even though she had she got to adjust to the. Listen, no one cares about WNBA before this, bro. No, one no, no you lying. I'm seeing the DJ, Nobody DJ, DJ. That. We ain't doing that, bro. We ain't doing that. Time out. Yeah, we ain't yeah, doing that. Remember, what? Kobe predicted. Kobe was telling us about the WNBA. I'm not, so we ain't I'm not do saying that. predictions. Yeah, because he got a daughter that was he was no, training to go there. No, he was talking about the league. He was talking about the players in the league. No, I'm saying we not about that. No, I'm saying. No, let 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 DJ talk. Let DJ talk. All I'm saying is DJ is that. No, I'm about to I'm about to let you talk. But all I'm saying is though is that we're not going to hard. Listen, but listen, Crush, hear me out, hear me out, right? You never turned on first take and then the A block was the WNBA. But that's, hold ever, on, time out. Look, ever. Hold on, let look. him talk, Crush. Look, Maurice, ever. hey, Maurice. So, so what hold I'm on. saying DJ, with that hold is hold that. On. DJ, time out, real quick. Remember, because we were just talking about how Monica was talking to Stephen A. Smith about that. She was yeah, saying, she on, right, look, she was look. saying that based on the, but look. When she, I seen that, go ahead. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. She was saying, she was saying, she was saying, Stephen A. could have been talking about the WNBA. No, he could And hold on, hold on. And what that means is, is that, like, say for example, right, DJ? This is my point, right? Maurice just, just admitted basically how Caitlin Clark is not the best player in the league. Other players right now that's better than her, right? Of course. Of course. Right, right, right. Talk about, right, 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 right. So if Caitlin Clark is amazing, which she is, right? And this player is better than that. Why are right. we just now talking about the WNBA Crunch, if there's other out. players that's Crunch. better than her already? Crunch, hear me out. Hear me out, right? You can have the hype and not live up to the hype, right? So what I'm saying, right now, she got the hype. She got the machine behind her, bro. She got Gatorade, Nike endorsements, but the real ones, not like the little fake Subway commercials. She got the real hype. They gave her a private jet, bro. They was riding the bus last year. 
You know what I'm saying? So she, <laughs> she, she got the hype, bro. So the hype is pushing it, right? That's what's making. They got 30 fucking games on the damn um, ESPN. They had she none last year. Right. Agree, think about this, though. So it's the, but hold on, hold on, hold on. The machine is what gives you the buzz. So hear me out, right? Caitlin Clark could actually be a bust in five years if she never become, like, you know, MVP or whatever. We could have a convo if she a bust. But right now, she got the whole machine behind her, bro. She got the but whole thing about this, though, right? Her games. And think about all of the and, uh, people that, but look, it's the machine. Facts. But look, DJ, DJ, and, and Andrew, that's Cameron. a good point. Look, that's a great point, though. But what I'm saying is this, right? Yeah. First of all, first of all, somebody in the comments just said uh, charter flight started last year in the playoffs. Yeah, but it did. that's not what I was gonna say. But look, so but apparently that's team not ain't true. Had no private jet though. No, but look, because oh, they have the number one pick. That there was that's what I'm saying, though, right? <laughs> they have the number one pick. But look, Andrew. Think about all the people like celebrities, people that's watching and tuning in, watching Angel Reese, right? Yeah. Let's say like for Andrew the simple Reese. fact, let's let's just say off rip, right? Let's say if let's say maybe Kate <laughs> is bringing in more attention, right? Yeah. But look course. at look at all the attention that Angel Reese is bringing in without the machine. So she's she got, doing this she got a right. Machine what I'm too, saying though. ESPN is really the machine when they keep pushing it and and, and well, making the segments. That was and, the and, and right, so what I'm saying, that though. right, right. You but what I'm saying is, look, Andrew Reese is doing all of this without the machine. Yeah, give simply off of her, off of her brand, her personality, straight up people rocking with her on social media. But whatever the case, now you see what you just said, right? Her brand, her personality. That's where fame is coming from. Where's Caitlyn's coming from? Hold on, Maurice. Hold on. Good, good, good. And based on what she's doing, and based on what she's doing on the court. Yeah, remember, she's putting up numbers in college. Y'all acting like she wasn't been so doing So listen, this. let's have this convo crunch, right? We were supporting Angel Reese because real rap, because she was black. And like, so it was like a conversation. Oh, you. That, it was, oh, but so, don't that's a me, fact, DJ. It was like, it was like a oh, magic and birth thing. So oh, do you speak French? DJ, yup. Hold on, 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 hold on. And that shit chunky, that's I why. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not true, right? Because... So what about so what about what about the other what about the other black players? Because Angel Reese is more like but no, she's hold more on. marketable, bro. Yeah, you said we was never watching women's ball before this, but black players. Yo, so last, last year, but Maurice, w- but Maurice though. But if it's because she's black though, why would like I wasn't talking about no other uh basketball players like this before Angel Reese though, even though they was black. I know because she had listen. It was her going versus K- um Caitlin Clark. But for Caitlin that Clark though, is the machine trending, though trending that whole season? Remember, she was trending and doing play. I, listen, listen, I'm gonna pull up. The, listen, bro. Nobody, up. Listen, bro, bro she, yeah, she trending more for y'all gotta stop dancing on TikTok than basketball. Bro, I'm talking about this nigga is hating. This nigga is hating. Bro, no, they he said this nigga is hating. After a crunch, he after she did, it. Hold on, talk about, listen. She after she did, you can't see me. You can't feel my face, John. That's when it blew up. She did the Caitlin Clark. Blowing, listen, you know she built, she actually called? did it on the national championship. That's probably why it was really big. It was like right yeah, that was two. Right. That was two years ago, right? She, the yeah. the can't fill my face joint started everything. That started. No, but that her was buzz. the Maya Moore no, no, comment no, is a fact that, too. Bro. No, bro, no, it started no, her it, buzz. That started bro. the buzz for Caitlin Clark. No, Caitlin Clark was yeah. player of the year last year. That, no, no, that started the buzz with Caitlin Clark. And look, she was player of the year. Nobody cared until the uh, rivalry. Right. No, no. She actually right. had her right. best statistical season her freshman year. Yeah, nobody. It was quiet. Nobody her cared. Year was her nobody knew about year. it. Right. Nobody. She knows broke the it. college record. All these years she been hooping. Nobody really been what, saying that. What about year it. they lose to South Carolina? Hey, yo, hey, uh, that was what her. Hey, look, what she doing in high school? I don't know about that, bro. What year she was South Carolina? Exactly. Well, look, we was talking about me. Hey, look, 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 hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. I'm saying no. Hey, hold on, hold on, DJ, South DJ, Carolina, right? DJ, DJ. We was talking about Paige in high school, though. We was. Paige, who? What Paige? Paige Becker's nigga. What the fuck? Paige, right? Don't act like you don't know. Paige, Paige, who? Who? He tried to say Paige. Who? Hey, look, Stephen Curry was shot when I was Paige. I don't even know who that is, bro. I don't even know that. Oh, yeah, no, Paige wrong, bro. He was mad. He played for Connecticut. Hold on. Women's sports is trash, bro. Let's keep it real, yo. Bro, Paige wrong, bro. She played for UConn, bro. Hold on. Andrew Reese got high school footage up. She wrong, bro. I have no idea who that is, bro. 
I'm be honest. You can't be on stage if you don't know who Paige is. Yeah, Paige had got hurt, but Paige every, raw, bro. Every everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that's that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Everything that comes out your mouth is just ass now. Gen- you speaking in no. general. Nah, bro. WNBA ain't been lit, bro. I can't hold no. you. Yeah. You're out bad, bro. You don't watch. I watch. No, I'm People speaking watch. in ratings. Listen, man. You got, you got exposed, and now you're doubling down by trying to call it trash. That's what it is. You got exposed. No, it is trash. No, no. Nah, he ain't. I don't think he got exposed. You got to understand. Listen. You got exposed. Now you try to double down. Well, can I say one thing, fellas? Can I say one thing? If it's trash, why are you talking about it? Can I say one thing? It's a topic, though. This is why I hate me. Can I say one thing, fellas? Don't like me, cause why even if you don't like if you don't like women's basketball? No, I didn't say I don't like it. You just said it was trash. Why are you on stage talking about it? could be true. Why are you here? Why are you in this space? Why are you? Why are you in your feelings? Why are you in your in this space? The league is trash, yo. Yo, can I say one thing? The league being trash. Why are you in your feelings? But you got so much shit to say about it. But it's trash. I would Why just hype it up. Something that you think is trash. No, I would no, never it's, think it's not like. I would I'm never saying, think it's about not something thick. I don't like. Me, it's me, me surprise me every day. Me and me the messiest thick. motherfuckers you know. I swear to God. Now they, it's they, they, now we're going to run shit. They, they, they mouth always running on something they don't like. You they you I ain't going to lie, brother. You are out bad tremendously. You in your feelings, yo. Nah, I could not say one thing, no damn. Like, do it to you back. I actually got to wrap it up, I don't know. That's saying, dude, he texted her back last night. She mad. Yo, you and your feelings. Calm down. That's oh. nigga funny as hell. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Nah, 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 nah. My thing is, my thing is. Uh, don't, hey, look, don't worry about it. I'm going to text her back.